what would you like everyone to know about the relationship between sleep and brain function? First of all, sleep is the best way for you to clear out these amyloid proteins that build up during the day. Wow. When we sleep, we dip into our our deep sleep zone, which is stage three sleep. We generally, when I talk about sleep, I really just talk about stage three sleep and stage four. Now, stage three is non-rapid eye movement sleep. This is our deepest sleep possible. Two major things happen during this stage. This, and this is towards the, you know, around 90 minutes after you mm. fall asleep. We're going to our deep sleep zone. You're activating something called the glymphatic system. And this is when all of the cerebral spinal fluid in our brain washes out all of the debris. So those those toxins that built up that we mentioned earlier, the environmental toxins, the mycotoxins, and the amyloid beta, when that builds up in the brain, it has a chance at, at night during deep, slow wave sleep to be cleared out. And it does this because the certain air, there's certain brain cells in our brain called glial cells, they they shrink in size and they they stick between neurons as well. They're our immunity uh, our immunity cell, they shrink in size and that's what allows the cerebral spinal fluid to act like a washing machine. So sleep's important to clear out yep. toxins that may build up over the years. Yes. Just a reminder for people what we said right at the start, which is this idea that beta amyloid protein, which yes, we do see in people's brains with Alzheimer's, is not really the root cause of what's going on. And beta amyloid perhaps is a response to inflammation and stress and all kinds of modern day insults. And that accumulation may well be starting at the age of 30 or 25. Okay. Yeah. So when we think about that, you're now connecting sleep saying, listen, this stuff may start to appear in your brain because of the stressful, toxic lives many of us now lead, especially if we live in urban environments, right? But actually, one of the best ways to insulate yourself from that potential damage and accumulation is to focus on your sleep. Yes. Remember also I mentioned that the amyloid gets gets triggered due to the innate immune system. It's the yeah. body's first line. Then we've got the adaptive immune system, which is meant to take over yeah. and basically calm down the innate immune system. So this is your chance all right, of when you're sleeping, you're also building up immunity. We've actually seen through a really well-documented study it pre presented in PN PNAS, where they took a group of healthy men and they subjected them to sleep deprivation for one week, which was around six hours per night, just on one week. And what they found over just that seven day period was that they had a epigenetic change of 3%. So they, they changed their genome, so we have around 20,000 genes in our human genome, they changed 3% of this genome. So they changed around, I think it was 711 genes. For the worse? For the worse. Hold on a minute. Did you say they were deprived? Just for one week. But the sleep deprived individuals were sleeping six hours a night. Yes. Right, six hours a night. I know, is, that's the problem. Is actually what some people are, are happy if they're getting six hours a night. That's their, hey, I had a great night.